Sayu seems a little bit worried, or at least tired of the situation, the things that have been going on. We have some a little bit of joking around in the Yen sphere, and the stocks keep going down and staying around 2300 for Nidhi Sanji. That and more here on VTuber News. Here we have Sayo Synchronicity. She is the one that was recently involved with the Kenji drama. Uh, we are getting past the Kenji drama. Luckily, it's no longer being a big thing for anybody around here. So hopefully it will continue to not be a big thing anymore. She is someone that I'm following. So I may have a little bit of a bias, but I try to be as objective as possible. She made a comment back in the day, like maybe a couple days ago, that didn't go so well and had people hating her. A lot of people hating her, unfortunately. So she's saying right now, hey guys, I'm now catching up with the recent events. So I'm slowly trying to look through who I'm following on this site specifically, etc. All I want is to be in our own space without people hurting us for not hurting others with the jokes we make or things we like. So she doesn't want a space where people hurt others pretty much. We will never be able to silence those who are simply trying to find fault in everything we do, which is very true. Uh, there's always going to be those people. There's always going to be people who hate you. I have a lot of people who hate me. That's just the way it is. And everything we do, so it's okay. We'll be stronger than them together. Report them and look away. Again. I know things have been crazy as of late, and I'm sorry for the burden on all of you again. Thank you so much to all of you who sent me kind messages in my DMs, to all the kind friends who commented or DM'd me support. I wouldn't be here without all of you. And I'm so grateful that you try to look past the noise and my mistakes to see the real me. There are many people who don't, who I don't know if they feel comfortable being around me or not yet. So please, if you do not, you can unfollow me. I will understand. Thank you for helping me know your feelings too. This really does seem like a... A cry for I don't know assistance help I don't know what you want to call it in the sense that I think she's been getting a lot of hate recently uh, it may not all be from the Kenji side there are a lot of people who are just tourists as they're called or people who are just waiting chomping at the bit to try to get someone who is bigger and try to get them in a gotcha moment this is what it feels like it feels like someone tried to get in a gotcha moment and they dogpiled on her. the only thing I have said in the past is objectively it was not a good timing for this situation it was not a good timing she even said that in a previous statement that the timing wasn't the correct one and that was all i said she had every right to say what she said she had every right specifically after she was called the p word and saying that she likes the r word you know all that kind of stuff it really can be discriminatory it can be detrimental it can it's defamatory it's defamation in the u.s and in pretty much any other place in the world as far as i know that has defamation laws it is not something that leads to safety of you people can attack you because of that they can physically attack you because of that it is not safe so right now i think she's just not feeling safe she's like if you wish to go then that's fine but you know she wishes that we stayed i'm staying everybody makes mistakes kenji makes mistakes too i'm not uh knocking him horribly either he made a lot of mistakes like he ended up being kind of creepy in the way he did his things uh looking her up and stuff like that but if they apologize to each other which they have and they don't do that again, then everything is fine, at least in my opinion. And that is all I have to say about this one. Hopefully it does not grow back up again. Hopefully it does not get worse again. Hopefully it just chills and relaxes. And here, everybody, we have a needy sister in their natural habitat, full of dumb, dumb, just full of dumb. Hope you had the same standard when Hala threw Coco and Hachama under the bus to appease China. Seems like... Seems pretty dumb to judge someone for what the company did. Did you stop watching Hololive when they suspended Coco and Hachama? I got very angry at Hololive when that happened. I'll be honest with you. I, I'm someone who criticizes everybody for, you know, and myself for doing things that shouldn't happen. You know, I criticize myself as harshly as I criticize anyone else. I'm open to criticism. Everyone here knows that. Everyone who watches me knows that. And criticism has been harsh in many cases. But this person just says, oh, you didn't think that of Hololive. Yes, we did. Yes, we did. A lot of people were ready to boycott Hololive. And that's why Hololive got rid of Hollow China, and that's why Hololive got rid of all of the, chi the the China branch. That's why they made the protections afterwards. That's why they were doing, uh, they were getting the girls to at least try to mod Hachama, Coco, and other streams that they knew were getting attacked. They made changes overall, unlike what Niji did, and they made changes fast. It wasn't like, oh, we promised to make changes, and like three months later the changes happened. No, it was like within a week that they came out with the changes. It was really fast, and they apologized. Yago himself, the CEO, took a, took no pay for, I think, like two or three months. But you can say he's a CEO, it doesn't do a lot, blah, blah, blah. But it's showing that he has remorse for what happened. Riku's never going to do that. Riku hasn't done that. So that's the difference between Hololive and Nidhi Sanji, at least on the corporate level. Bringing up an incident from three years ago that Cover took great pains to correct and learn from to the point of choosing to support Coco and Hachama and sacking their entire Chinese branch. And neither party bears any ill will from a gotcha to deflect from Niji management, causing one talent to attempt blank multiple times, causing another to have ideations, and ruining her reputation online to the point that she still regularly gets harassed 
and beating the motivation of a third into the dirt so badly that she had to graduate because it was too much for her to bear them constantly denying her projects. Truly, the Nitty Sisters are just full of smart cookies. Sisters say in cover to appease China, I don't think a company getting out of a country, including having to nuke an entire branch, like I said before, losing game perms, sponsorships, potential shows, or hurt the growth of some talents in the short run because a lot of them got rid of Billy Billy, uh, or to keep talents from trying to appease China. There's also a suspension thing that's been standard procedure in Hollow Life when the talent gets a big controversy. It's not a punishment, it's for damage control. It's saying, lay low for now, we're going to try to calm this down, you lay low for now. It's all going to be fine. Just lay low and do your thing. And then we're going to we're going to make sure that this all goes away. Uh, that have been a punishment as that we know Vesper getting suspended. That was just to chill and relax. It's not appeasing would have been terminating Coco and Hachama and pulling a Niji with the laundry list of crimes, justifying the termination and harassment. The fact that Hollow pulled out at the cost of the Chinese branch with Coco eventually graduating on her own and going off of her persona and Toa still being on good terms with Hollow up to Yago and Hachama still being in Hollow, the opposite of appeasement. I agree. This is the opposite of appeasement. Appeasement would have been getting rid of Coco, getting rid of Hachama, and then, you know, keeping the, the China branch, keeping Billy Billy, keeping all that kind of stuff and trying to do more with that. They got rid of Billy Billy. No one, as far as I know, in uh, in Hololive does Billy Billy anymore. They used to do it a lot because, you know, Hololive was trying to get into China. In fact, the Hachama is still in, in Hollow and Coco was in Hollow but graduated on amazing terms with the possibility of returning if she wants to instead of being terminated. As well as Hollow CN being closed down, pretty much just proves that Hollow threw them under the bus, but I guess understanding context is so hard, especially for Needy Sisters. Also, the fans were furious at the time. I remember I was I was getting ready to boycott Hollow Life when they did that. I was honestly getting ready to boycott Hollow Life and to be like, oh, I'm done. I'm absolutely done. The fans were furious at the time when Hollow suspended Hachama and Coco. Did these people not pay attention? The Magni and Vesper thing, they both left on good terms. The door opened if they wanted to come back. Magni wants more freedom to do the content he wants. And that's the thing. They want freedom. Any large corporation, you're it's going to take away your freedom. Any large corporation is going to take away your rights to do a lot of these things. Any of them are. They all are. And, you know, basically, that's the main thing I want to say is Hololive did mess up. They messed up several times. But here's the difference between Hololive and Nidhi Sanji. Coming from someone who's seen the controversies from both sides. Hololive had a huge controversy. A lot of people, were, the West was ready, ready to abandon Hololive. The West in general. Everybody from the West was like, what the heck are you guys doing? You need to fix this. Hololive saw that. They saw the writing on the wall. And as a corporation, they were like, uh, Yago was like, I'm not going to, because of the fact I messed up, because I didn't protect our talents, we didn't protect our talents, I'm going to take a pay cut. I'm not going to take pay for several months until this is fixed. They went through. They put everything on the line. They got rid of the China branch. They made a bunch of different changes to, they, they put in everything. We are not political commentators. Do not try to put politics in here. You will get banned if you do. That type of stuff. They started to put more mods in there. The girls are modding for, for each of the talents now. They were allowing Hachama and Kiryu Koko to put it in uh, follower and super super zoning mode, like subscriber only mode, and then even members only mode if they wanted to. They gave them a lot of freedom to do what they wanted to do to make this thing better. And Niji Sanji has not done anywhere near that much. That's what I get at. Ren, I think it's Ren Zoto is what they're talking about, I believe. Uh, I can't see any reason for Quinn tagging him so casually like this, other than if Ren is already planning to leave. Glad to see they're still friends, though. So close. Welcome back, Jordan Sweeto. Miss you, Jordan Sweeto. Uh, you know, Quinn is reacting to that. He's never needed Niji like so many other talents, so I'd be, I wouldn't be surprised if he's planning to leave eventually. He's also much bigger on his PL than on his Niji account, so people have been suspecting him leaving for a while now. His channels were still doing good. Maybe he got burnt out from making story time animations. Could be. Pretty sure this is a light joke taking a jab at his emo hair, like bro saying, welcome back to the horses if it's him. Link to Quinn's reply. When the V Shoujo clicks suddenly interacting with him more, that's a good sign. Uh, who's Jordan Quinn? Uh, the horse looks more like a 682 than an actual horse. Here it is. People are laughing. Dango, just Dango. And then uh, the horse looks like Jordan. Uh, at least he still has plenty of hair on his head in his 30s, unlike you who had Ooh, ooh, who went bald in his 20s. Oh, I guess Quinn was openly bald in his 20s, I guess. <laughs> I don't know if someone was openly bald in his 20s. Maybe he's talking about himself. Ghost is talking about himself. Maybe this ghost guy is talking about himself. Um, Jordan and Quinn collab. Maybe a Jordan and Quinn collab. We're going to see about that. Hopefully, hopefully it happens in this. The stock price last week, the best thing they're trying to happen near state 2300. As usual, not financial advice, not investing advice. The stock dropped. It dropped despite the above. It's clear the stock is having a down, downward trend change. If we graph through one month, image two near the end of quarter four, it's clear they have losses because of their business model, depending on their stocks heavily. Quarter three was was doing a hard hit for them, of course. Uh, I wasn't even having like negative 40 inch impact on real data and a prediction. Basically, this is the 
I believe it is the last week. Yeah, it's the last week. This is the last month. It is on a downward slope. Of course, having everything be what it is, it has an upward and downward slope. It's always going to have an upward and downward slope. But yeah, it's going to have an upward and downward slope. But in all in all, it's doing downward. It's it's trending downward. And of course, like I said, it's going to be around 2300. It might go below 2000 by the end of the year, at least by the end of quarter four. If quarter four has a large boost because of the AR live and other things that have been popping up, then of course, they're going to uh, have situations where things are now uh, going to be looking up. And I don't want people to be to tie their happiness to the stock numbers because people are hoping that it's it's low. They're happy when it's low and they're sad when it's going high. This is the way the stock market works, whether it be in Japan or over here. It's going to go up and it's going to go down. That's the way it just works. Shoto is collabing with Niri Sanji again. Shu, Mina, Seremu, and Eito. And uh, Regis and Claude and in the, uh, the Hollow, Hollow Stars as well. Regis and Claude. If I can't read their mind, the collabs happened. It must be funny as not Regis already collabs with Doki. Uh, yeah, that's why we shouldn't read too much into this. Shoto's probably just wants to be friends and play Valorant with Shu, Claude, and Regis. And they happen to be really good at it. So let's not take too much too much uh, consideration into these things. Uh, something to point out that VTubers outside of NGN are slowly easing back to collab with NGN again. I don't know why Regis won't do, would do that after collabing with Doki. I thought that'd make him a no-go for some of the Niji people to collab with, especially with Claude. But no, I, I mean, I'm glad that they're not being too destructive in, in you know the cross relationships with between the two agencies because i mean it's nothing bad with them having that cross agency collab the difference between being a bootlicker harasser of other vtubers and claude mentioning hey they could have just asked definitely bootlicking behavior but in my opinion it's not enough to have him be uh you know outside ha prevent the outside collapse i can understand that part with a hanamori friend to be fair shu and reimu is in somewhat safe category claude aside of him bootlicking of course he was bootlicking but you know it's not horrible. It's not like, like oh my god, he he really went and did that. He really went and did all this. No, it's just normal. I guess bootlicking for them, I guess it would be normal bootlicking. Here we have Maid Mint with uh, the torsion. The torsion one. She's spectral binding, she says. And this is torsion. Screams in... Yeah, scream internally. I scream internally, yes. Funny how this taught Mint what testicular torsion was. <clears throat> She's like... Um, she responded to it, I believe, at one point. She was like... Um, what is that? You know, she was she was saying uh, something around the the. Uh, she was wondering what the heck it was, and then she was like, "Oh, oh." <laughs> so yeah, she had one of those moments where she was like, uh, "What the heck is this?" And then um, she was like, "Oh, oh no, oh no, no, no." You know, one of those things. I can definitely understand how she would not have known what the torsion thing was, and this definitely taught her what the torsion thing was. She said, "Is that a heart tonsils? I'm so confused." And then she goes down here. Oh, she knows. Scatter. <laughs> Best not to know, Minty. But she found out. She found out exactly. Is that a heart of tonsils? She thought it was tonsils, but it's not tonsils. It's 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 the man's uh, family jewels. Let's just call it that much. That is all for right now. Of course, comment, like, and subscribe down below. Thank you for being here. Of course, I love having the conversations with you guys. I love having these things with you guys. And I do appreciate it whenever you guys do comment. Take a look at my description for my socials. There's a Discord. There's Twitter. There's other places that you can check me out. Twitch, etc. And also check on your screen right now because there might be a video that you might enjoy. Thank you.